What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today I'm going to be showing you the top 25 best tweaks for iOS 9. Now before we get started, the theme here that I'm using is called Muse 2. And if you guys want the wallpaper that I'm using, then I'll be sure to put that on my Twitter. So be sure to follow me on Twitter and I'll have that up as soon as this video is up. And just kind of a random question that I was actually thinking about earlier before I started this video is where are you guys from? So if you can, let me know where you guys are watching this from in the comments below and I'll definitely check that out. But let's go ahead and check out these tweaks. So the first tweak we have here is a simple one and it's called icon art. So basically what this does is it changes the icon depending on what application you're playing music from to the album artwork cover. So for instance, if I go into Spotify here, you'll see that probably I'm listening to Fallout Boy, as you can see right there. Let's actually pause that. But then when we come out, you'll notice that it's using the Fallout Boy album artwork right there for the actual icon. Now it's gonna work for not only Spotify, but every other music application like Pandora or just your music application. And next up we have a tweak called Phone App No Fave. Now this is another simple tweak, but you can see right here if we go ahead and open up our phone app, that it's not going to have the favorites tab down here, which a lot of people don't use, myself included, so I'm probably gonna keep this one intact. Here we have a tweet called hide app menu. So what this does is in your settings, normally towards the bottom of your settings, you'll notice that I have all my tweak settings, but I don't have any of my application settings. So those are all hidden due to this tweet called hide app menu. So it basically just keeps that whole settings panel or app uh, a whole lot cleaner without having every single application setting listed right here. Another simple tweak we have here is called no emergency. So what this does is on your passcode screen, you're gonna see that we don't have the emergency listed right there on the left. So it's basically just gonna be hidden. And also here on the lock screen, you're gonna see a tweak called Palin, which is basically going to give you this effect or these colors kind of a blurred out color for your uh, passcode keypad. Now the next one we have here is a pretty cool tweak called Lilac. So what this does is basically converge the control center as well as your app switcher into one. It looks a whole lot like OXO, but you can see right here that we don't even have to double press on the home button. If we try to pull up the control center, you're gonna see right here that we have the control center down here. We have our app switcher right here. We also have AirDrop in the top left as well as AirPlay right there on the right. Now, if I go ahead and open up a Chrome tab here, as you can see right there. So if we wanted to open up or we wanted to use handoff, we could just tap on that. It's gonna open that right up. So a pretty nifty tweak if you like this style. Next one is a tweak called Key Vibe. Now this is a tweak that basically is built for the Taptic Engine in the 6S and 6S Plus. Now I haven't tried it on a uh, older device. You can if you want to, but basically what it does is it's going to vibrate and it's kind of hard to hear but it's a very, very short and abrupt vibration every time you hit a key here on your phone. And you will have to actually add a repo for this tweak, so be sure to check the description for that. Next up, you guys have probably noticed that a lot of my UI is black, and that is due to Eclipse 3, which was just updated for iOS 9, and you can see basically what it does here. Of course, you can change this up to a bunch of different colors. Right now, I just have it set to night. And you can see that there's a ton of different toggles you have here. So first of all, you want to make sure you enable it as well as you can have uh, alternative mode toggled on as well as show table separators. Otherwise, you're not going to see the separators here for the panels. And you'll also see that you have some color options, advanced options, uh, as well as some uh, enabled applications. Now, when you install this, it's actually every single application is toggled off. So you'll have to go through here and toggle on the applications that you want it to take effect in. I basically just turned them all on. And then if you get into an application that basically doesn't look good with Eclipse, then you can toggle it off right here. Next up is picture in picture. So if we go over here to YouTube and we just open up one of these videos real quick, you'll see that if we open this up, close out of it, then you'll see that we have the uh, picture in picture or the video right here that we can continue to watch just by hitting the play button here. We can obviously X out of it. We can go back into the application by just hitting this and it's going to uh, put the window back in there. You can also dock it and then you'll see the little arrow. So you can just tap on that. It's going to pop right back out. Of course, you can also make this bigger just by pinching it just like that. You can swipe it up, swipe it down, basically put it wherever you want to. Again, you can dock it on either side. 
We also have Spring to Mize 3, which was recently updated for iOS 9. And you can see right here that if we go ahead and hit the settings and jump over here to the Spring to Mize uh, panel, I'm not going to do a full review of this just because it's massive and I've already done a full review and not a lot has changed. But you can see that you have a ton of different things you can change through right here. And within each of these settings panels, you have a ton of toggles as well as options to configure. But you'll see right here if I go ahead and respring my device that there's several different things that I've already changed uh, using Spring to Mize, and you'll see what effects take place once I respring. All right, so we're resprung here, and let's type in our passcode, and you'll see that I have shrunk the size of the application icons as well as the dock icons, and I've hidden basically all of the icon labels as well as the clock right up there in the status bar. I've basically done just a few different things visually using Spring to Mize, and this is just something that you can toy around with and configure however you'd like. We also have a tweak installed called color switches. So what this does is allow you to change the, well, the color of your switches or your toggles. So for instance, uh, if we come down here, let's go into a tweak that actually has some toggles. Spring to Mice has toggles. You can see right here that if we tap on this, it's going to be that blue color and that's due to color switches. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and open this up, you basically just have a color picker. If you tap on this, you can change up to whatever color you want with whatever alpha that you want. And uh, it's going to take effect completely within your device. But also keep in mind, if you have Eclipse 3 installed, that's going to basically take precedence over color switches because Eclipse also changes the color of your switches as well. Now, in addition to color switches, we also have color predictive. Now, both of these tweaks, actually, you need a custom repo. So again, be sure to check the description. But what color predictive does is change the text color of your prediction texts or prediction words. So you can see right here that I have purple. Of course, it's just a color wheel, just like uh, color switches is. And you can change this color to whatever you'd like. Next up, we have a tweak called notification cards. So with this tweak, the first thing that you want to do before you even install it is make sure that you go into your settings and in your settings up at the very top, you want to tap on notifications and then group by app. Otherwise, when you install this tweak, it's going to crash. So make sure that you have this toggled on and then you can install uh, notification cards and it should work just fine. Now, what this does is if we bring down our notification center, you can see if we tap on notifications that we have our notification cards right here. So it's basically just a nice looking uh, UI for your notifications rather than just the normal look that we usually have here in the notification center. Now, you have right down here at the bottom a collapse button. So if you wanna collapse it, then you can do so. One thing that is a little annoying about this is if you have a whole lot of applications and a whole lot of notifications, uh, within those applications, it gets a little laggy and you can see it kind of lagging right there just because a lot of, you know, Periscope or a lot of YouTube, you can see right there. Of course, you'll want to collapse those just because it'll make things go a little bit quicker, but you can see there is a little bit lag, but it still does look pretty cool. Of course, you can tap on these in order to uh, open up that specific notification, or if you want to close out of all of them, then you can slide them over just like that and they kind of close out. Again, the animations could be a little bit smoother in this tweak, would make it a whole lot better, but still pretty good for its initial release. Next up, we have two tweaks, one being color banners, as well as Ophelia. I think that's how you pronounce it. But basically, color banners is going to change the color of your banners. You can obviously change this to whatever color that you'd want. And Ophelia is going to remove the icon from banner notifications. So if I go ahead and send myself a notification here, we should get it right up here at the top. And you can see that it says, Howdy from Gmail, and this is red, and there is no icon banner right there. So of course, if you wanted to change the color, it's very simple to do. We'll just swipe down here real quick and open up the uh, color banners. And then you can see right here that you have it for banners as well as a lock screen and notification center. So if we just tap on one of these, you can see there's gonna be a whole lot of different options for you to configure and just mess around with. And again, this is another tweak that you're going to have to add a repo for but you can see you can just tap test and you're gonna get a banner right there. Next is a really cool tweak that's in beta called Manila. So what this does is allow you to use 3D touch on your folder. So for instance, if we go ahead and press on this, you'll see that it's going to pop out a 3D touch menu to allow us to open up those applications without actually having to open up the folder. Same thing goes for this folder right up here. You can see that I have a lot more uh, apps in there, but you can basically just tap on one of these and it's gonna open right up. Now I don't use folders a whole lot, but I did think that this was a pretty cool little tweak. 
Next we have CC Clock Open to Alarm 8 Plus, which is a bit of a mouthful. And all that it really does is when you open up your control center here, you can see if we tap on the, uh, the clock app down there for the quick launch app, it's gonna open up directly into your alarms, which is probably where you're going to be going if you're opening up the clock app in the first place. We also have a tweak called Ethos, which is basically going to enable background audio mode at all times. So if we go ahead and start playing some music here, we'll actually turn it down quite a bit, but let's go ahead and start playing something here. And that's playing there. And now if we go over into, let's just say one of these games over here, like Happy Wheels, it's not going to stop playing that music in the background. And it's going to work for all games. And some games basically, you know, disable that feature altogether, but this is going to enable it completely. And we also have a tweak called Zaris, which is basically going to give you unlimited tabs in Safari. So if we go ahead and open this up, you can see that we can just add a new tab, continue adding new tabs. And I mean, you guys get the idea. You can make a ton of different tabs in Safari with Zaris. Now something else that you probably saw when I opened up my control center and app switcher at the same time, or Lilac for instance, you can see right down here that these are all circular and that's basically going to be because of C-Circle. So if you want circular quick launch apps in your control center, then C-Circle is gonna do just that. Now Spot It is a really awesome tweak and it's basically having Reddit right there a swipe away on your springboard. So if you're big into Reddit like I am, I'm on Reddit all the time, but you can see if we swipe over to the left here, you're gonna see right down here is what's hot in Reddit. So basically these are the top posts in Reddit right now. So you can just tap on one of these and it's gonna open it up right there within Safari if you wanna do it that way, but it just gives you a real quick uh, way to access the top links uh, right here and you can just scroll through it and then open it right up. Now, if you wanna get Spot It Plus, then that's going to give you the ability to basically customize uh, your feed right here rather than it just being the top post on the front page. Now, we also have a tweak installed called Bitafont 3, which is new for iOS 9, and that's obviously going to allow you to change the font system-wide on your device. And you can see right here that for my font, I'm actually using a font called Bowman's or Bowman's. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But I just thought it looked simple and minimalistic and that's why I'm using it. And we also have color badges here. So you can see what that does is take the dominant color of that particular app icon and then use that for the color of the badge. Of course, you'll also get that nice thin little white border around the badge itself as well. So if we swipe over here, you can see there's a few more. Of course, you can go into your settings here and you can configure this just a little bit. You see you have the master toggle right there, so make sure that you enable it. It also has compatibility for Apex if you use that tweak. You can obviously toggle off the borders as well, or if you wanna use the legacy borders then you can toggle that on. And then if you always want the borders and the text to be white, then you can toggle this on right here. And last but not least, we have two tweaks here, one being earphone status bar, as well as Aris. So you'll see right here that if I go ahead and unplug my device, and then down here at the bottom, once I plug in my headphones, you're gonna see that we get a nice little pop-up, and that's due to Aris. So these apps are obviously customizable, and you can see that I have Spotify right here. I also have SoundCloud, Netflix, and just my music app. So every time that you plug in your headphones, it's going to give you a nice little pop-up right here, allowing you to access quickly what applications that you're probably gonna be using for your headphones. Now, obviously, the other tweak here is that earphone status bar. So basically all that that does is put some headphones right up there in your status bar, just showing that your headphones are attached. All right guys, that's all I have for the top 25 tweaks. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smack that like button, it really helps me out. And it lets me know that you guys wanna see more videos just like this. All right guys, more videos on the way, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.